Hi everyone, uh, I'm out at the field today with my um, Dollar Tree Foam MiG 35B uh, testing uh, what's a new motor to me, uh, this uh, little mighty um, RC Timer FR2, yeah, 2205-2550KV. It's actually a, an FPV quadcopter racing motor, I guess. Uh, it's got Racer Edition written right on it, so it's got to be good, right? Um, anyway, I've, I've already tested about three or four props. Uh, in bench testing, actually, the 6x4 APC didn't look like a good candidate, but uh, as often happens when I get out at, the, out at the field here, when the rubber hits the road, so to speak, it's actually uh, worked out really well. So um, there's other props that are very pretty close to this, um, which I'll talk about. If you want to check the links down below, I'll have write-ups on uh, my uh, bench testing and my impressions of this uh, field testing. I figured since uh, pretty much anybody that flies a park jet's got a 6x4 EPC prop around, um, I'd throw her up in the air here and show you what, could it, what it can do. So here we go. So about a 60% throttle launch there, just you know, like I normally normally would. A little bit of breeze today here. We'll try and bring her by for a... <laughs> so she skips along really well. The neat thing about this motor, and one of the main things, I, reasons why I wanted to try it, was uh, the um, little high speed turn here. <laughs> was uh, RC Timer had some really good charts on it. And uh, on 4S with some, with some you know, quad, quadcopter style props, it was generating uh, over a kilogram of, or about 1,100 grams of thrust. So I figured on 3S, uh, give it a try with some prop jet, or uh, park jet props, and see how we made out. Um, the neat thing about it is it's very light. Uh, it's only 44 grams with, um, with the prop connectors, motor mount, the whole nine yards. And the, luckily the bolt pattern is exactly the same as your standard uh, uh, 2212 uh, motor. So you can use uh, you know those standard X mounts. <laughs> it comes with hardware obviously for mounting on a quadcopter. But, um, so I just uh, put it on the watt meter just before uh, just before launching here, and it's pulling about 28 amps with uh, with the 6x4 APC. It's a 30 rated at a 32 amp motor, so uh, you know it's pushing the motor hard. But uh, heat wise, I haven't noticed any problems. This is about the ninth flight I have on it. Um, the temperature's fairly cool today. It's about 10 Celsius, 50 Fahrenheit. Nice. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this little motor. It, uh, it seriously punches above its weight for, uh, you know, for uh, park jet use anyway. <laughs> Rock and roll. Very, very smooth bearings um, in this little motor. <laughs> So I ran the 6x4x3 by Master Air Screw prop, which is one of my favorite props. Um, and the performance actually between that and this 6x4 APC two-bladed prop is very close. Uh, Mid-range, as you would expect with a three-bladed prop, probably a little faster. Um, but as John Wayne once said, I'd hate to have to live on the difference. So let's bring her in for a landing here. Sweet. All right, so there we have the RC Timer FR2205 2550KV motor. I'm just gonna unplug my battery here so I don't have any, any issues. Safety first. Okay, so I'll leave that open. So, uh, oh geez, looks like I peeled part of the label off already, it's been going so fast. So you can see here really, really smooth uh, 
bearings. Now it's a very short motor as you can see it's about uh, you know the can is uh, um, about seven millimeters or the, the stator inside is about seven millimeters uh, thinner than on your 2212 so the prop runs fairly close here I think there's only about three eighths of an inch here so if I was to build a plane a park jet anyway that I was specifically going to be running this motor on I probably wouldn't make this this uh, part here as deep you know I'd push it out a little bit more um, on this plane anyway I did need to trim uh, just so the prop had lots of clearance I needed to trim about a quarter of an inch uh, on the back there but that's fine it doesn't affect the uh, the structure any um, the nice thing you know it's got because it's a quad motor it's it's uh, it's super light and it's got lots of holes here for cooling which I think is uh, gonna help it you know it doesn't have the standard holes on the top like a you know most of the park jet type 2212 2200s uh, motors do but um, yeah so there we have it um, really 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 impressed uh, you know with with this prop I'll need to run uh, still run the 40 amp speed controller uh, I was kind of hoping I might be able to lighten it up even more and get in there you silly thing uh, run a a 30 amp speed controller but um, anyway it's just fine so we'll, we'll keep uh, we'll keep running it hard here and uh, putting it through his paces and uh, having a great old time so uh, yeah lots of fun again please check out the comments down below uh, for the bench testing numbers my flight impressions uh, on this prop and three other props that I've tested today uh, and uh, yeah I think I might actually pick up another one of these little babies so thanks for watching folks, blue skies, calm winds to everyone, park jet noise, the other sound of freedom baby, take care.